Hello, we are going to be making our white tin craft today and there is foam down in there already and we are first going to stem our flowers. Uh, we do have a video strictly on stemming flowers, how to stem difficult flowers even, um, but I've already stemmed my flowers here. I'm just going to show you here on one of them, uh, but we do have the video on stemming uh, if you want to take a look at that as well. You're just going to put a dot of hot glue on the back of your flower and you're going to take your wires that are provided and you're just gonna swirl it on in there and you're gonna put it into the back of your flower. Now you don't wanna push too hard because you don't wanna come out the other side and either prick yourself or burn yourself, um, but you do wanna get it in there enough that it's nice, uh, safe and secure and already done. Now again, I've already done all of my flowers on my stems. Uh, they are wire, so they are bendable and movable, but I've done those already and have them ready for us. But our first step is gonna be after our prep is putting the greenery uh, in our tin. Now you're going to be having uh, two different kinds of greenery. One will be a more leafy green and one will be a more wispy type green. So we always start with our leafy greens because that'll give us a nice base to start. And we can trim the stems if you don't want them too tall. Um, but we're gonna kind of put them down right into the foam and some we're gonna have maybe bend out a little bit, some we're gonna have sprig up. But what we're gonna do is basically, we don't need to do uh, anything symmetrical. We're gonna be a little bit wild, um, but we're just gonna put these down in the foam and not worry about kind of where we're putting them right now. Because as we build this, as we add our greens and our flowers, um, we can kind of shape it as we go because everything is kind of bendable and movable here. So again, basically our principle for the first thing is just kind of filling in our green stems in here. Now again, if you don't want something super tall and out of the you know, scope of, of the rest of your stuff here, you're gonna wanna just clip your stem a little bit shorter and that is it. Again, nothing too special, too difficult. Uh, just trying to kind of fill our base here and give it a nice growing out look. So kind of like when you have like an herb garden or something uh, in a tin where your greenery is kind of fluffing out uh, and up. That's what we're going to do. Again, some of you might want to bend it more hanging over the edge. You can do that. They are in wires, so you would just leave that stem a little longer so you could have bent it over the edge. But I like mine kind of coming out like that. Um, and again, the shape, it's a little bit more wild, so it's not gonna be like a round puff ball on top. So it's okay kind of wherever you end up putting your greens, whatever shape you enjoy. The point is just again to kind of cover uh, that foam in there and also to give it nice fullness. Now we're gonna add our wispy greens. And depending on what kinds of greens um, you have in there, um, some of them might already be on um, a single stem. Some of them you might need to trim down, um, but you can kind of make it as thick or as tall as you want. So I'm just gonna put these guys right in and basically I'm just gonna fill in the gaps that I had um, from leftover from after I put my leafy green in. Now see, I can have some taller ones. If I'm gonna do a taller one, I am gonna put that one in the center. And then I've got some little bits here. And again, basically you can kind of cut down, pare down whatever wispy green that you had gotten uh, in your kit to fit in there. Now I'm gonna put some glue on this one because their stem isn't too long. So I'm just gonna kind of glue it down in there so that it doesn't fall out. Um, and really, again, very simple process, just basically filling in so that we have no gaps you can't see the foam, you don't see any holes, and this is like a perfect bed for our flowers. Now we're gonna add our flowers, and with our flowers, um, they do come on um, this length of wire, and you're gonna kinda wanna stick it in there, and you might have to pull them back out um, to see if you need to trim them if you want them lower or higher. Um, but you don't have to glue your flowers into your foam, um, but if you're making it and maybe shipping it as a gift, or something like that, you may wanna glue it. But what I would suggest is get the height first and then do the gluing if you're going to do that. Now I'm just gonna keep spinning 
and I'm gonna just insert my flowers in the foam and I'm gonna have some up high and some down low, kind of just filling in the spaces. Now I'm gonna go around. I'm just gonna keep kind of spinning my tin here and filling it with flowers. I definitely have enough to, you know, get all the gaps. So let me just keep going. I like to make sure that I have uh, different flowers, you know, touching each other so that it's not one big gap of the same flower. And we're just going to spin it around and around until we are full. And we're just going to kind of maneuver that greenery in there uh, as we fill in the flowers just to make sure that we don't kind of shove it down but that it stands in between nicely. Oh, and if you lose a leaf, you can always just do a little glue and put that right back in there. Okay, so I'm just going to keep spinning and turning and inserting my flowers down into my foam. And I think we are good. I think I don't need to trim that one. Okay, so see how some of my flowers are down low to the rim. Some of them are a little bit higher. What we do want to be careful with is making sure that your shape doesn't sink down in the middle. So as you can see my side angle, see my flowers in my center are a little higher than the ones um, around the edge. And again, you can have this greenery hanging down. If you don't want it hanging down, then you can just tuck it in like that. Okay, so it doesn't have to be like that. Uh, I like a little asymmetrical, um, but if you like more symmetrical, then you can just make sure when you're placing that greenery to begin with uh, that you've been a little bit more careful on lengths and how you've bent them. But I like it a little bit wild. Um, but yeah, so you're gonna have, again, your flowers on the rim close to it. Um, and then in the center, you're gonna come up a little bit higher. So you're not gonna be dented in. Otherwise, you're gonna have kind of a flat topper. So once I've got my flowers in, then we've got um, our little extra fillers to put in there just for a little more interest, a little more life. And I'm going to make bundles depending on, um, you know, what your special filler in your kit is. You're going to bundle it, put a little hot glue at the end of it, and I'm just going to kind of fill in some of these places. Now I am going to let mine stick out a little bit. Again, I like mine a little more wild. If you're more of a um, not so wild look, you can always be a little bit more careful and neat. But I like to kind of be a little bit more rustic, kind of letting them stick out where they go. And I got one more bundle here. And we're just gonna trim these. These are our star flowers. And as always, you can always add on to your kit. Uh, if you've ordered a kit and you still feel like you wanna put um, other types of fillers in like lavenders or baby's breath or um, other kinds of greeneries even, um, you can always just order those separately uh, and add that in um, afterwards if you feel like, oh, I'd like a little more something in here. Even if you want some more colors, um, you know, you can always pick other kinds of fillers to join the party, but we do make sure that it is nice and full. Um, you do not have something skimpy here. You've got a fully formed arrangement that's nice and full uh, with flowers and greenery and fillers. So uh, that would be your finished project.